Petro, where's that rank in terms of your career, you think, that game? Oh, yeah, it's, it's definitely right up there. Um, you know, we're under a huge amount of pressure this year and uh, I guess just so happy that, you know, um, we got the right result tonight. And uh, what do you put it down to in terms of the team? What, what, what do you think was the real key to the series for Queensland? Yeah, you know, we definitely had to, you know, make those improvements you know, in order to, to pressure New South Wales. That, uh, full credit to New South Wales, that they were tremendous in the first two games, but we knew that we could improve as a team and uh, execution had to be better uh, with the ball and defensively we had to be better. Uh, we had to be more aggressive and uh, we we'll certainly did that tomorrow. Was, was, was Arthur Beetson a, a, a real focus for the series and for the last game in particular for the team this week? Oh, most definitely, you know, um, he's an icon to uh, all Queensland supporters, you know, and uh, it was great as a team being there for the, the statue uh, being unveiled uh, yesterday uh, in front of the stadium, uh, and I guess, you know, it hits home to, to all the boys, you know, uh, you know, we, we represent not just the 17 boys that run, run out, but, you know, a proud state of Queensland. And do you think, uh, what benefits do you think the series will have for you with the Broncos for the rest of the year? Oh, it, uh, I guess it's, it's always great to have that winning feeling but you know um, I guess you know we'll, we'll, we'll enjoy it tonight but it's back to uh, work uh, next week with the Broncos and um, you know again we've got a big challenge in front of us and hopefully um, you know we can push on into the finals. What are your thoughts on Mal's coaching ability in terms of there's been a fair bit of discussion in the media about this thing. Um, what do you think of Mal as a, as a man manager and as a coach? Oh, I think you know it's pretty evident. You know the success that he's had. Um, you know it's crazy. You know when, when people throw that criticism out there. Um, you know, surely you could you could understand it if you know he'd, he'd been on the back of seven series losses. But you know to, to question his ability, oh, you know it's just ridiculous. You know, so I guess you know certain sections of the media are trying to work a few angles there. But you know for us as a team. Um, you know, we, we, don't, we don't buy into it at all. Um, he's, he's a great mentor, great coach, great man manager, as you said, and um, uh, the results speak for itself. What did you think uh, Greg Inglis at the back tonight, taking over from Billy? I mean, they're big shoes to fill, aren't they? Almost oh, definitely, yeah. Uh, but again, we're pretty handy that we've got someone like Greg Inglis who can slot into that position. And no doubt, a huge loss losing someone like Billy, but, uh, you know, we've got Greg Inglis at the back. Um, you know, we knew we'd be all right. Thanks, man. Toysy,